Have you literally just jetted back from yeah, Love yesterday. Island? Yesterday. Wow. I haven't even been home yet. No, you said you've not even seen your mom. No. Home. How long is it now? Nine weeks? It's been, yeah, an eight to nine weeks. Oh, wow. <laughs> have, have you watched any of it back? I mean, obviously, you've seen little bits clips. on. Okay. I've watched clips. I haven't had time yet, but clips yeah. and. How do you feel when you watch, yeah. see things like that? Oh, it's, even when I watch it now, I've watched it a few times, like, I can't believe it. I was really angry. Well, Quite understandable. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> understandable. Yeah, I think and so. And how is it, now you're out, how is it now with Jordan? So, I was really angry the next day as well. I don't know if you saw After Sun, but I was on the yeah. terrace. Yes. Mm. And, then, and, then, um, and then, look, because we're just round each other for, like, things like yesterday, the podcast, and... Yeah. We just have to be civil. You know, like, I don't think we'd be friends, but we're just, we're just civil. Because he and said sorry, hasn't he? And he's seen that he was a bit of a plonker. Yeah, and he said sorry to me a few times since then. Yeah. Even last night, he said sorry to me again. Oh, really? Yeah. He's a bit... A bit flirty. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, I hate men that do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, you messed Never up. catch me doing it. Well, he's, he's been in the building today. I've actually... I spotted yeah. him. Yeah. He came to see me in my dressing he's room. He's been to see you? Yeah. <laughs> to say sorry again? Or... Oh, he's just like, you look nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, we, sorry. No, so, on. I'm just so obsessed with Love Island. We've I've watched so every many. episode. I've watched every episode mm. and missed the final. Really? Yeah. Oh, I was no. devastated but thrilled that Amber and Greg. I know, me too. Oh, she was like my little sister in there. Was she was she? my bestest friend. We were, we were stuck to each other. Yeah. She really quietened down by the end. He seemed to calm her down a lot, yeah. I think. And I liked him as well. Mm -hmm. but... That's the thing, I think, with him, is that he managed to bring a side of her that is not easy seen, yeah. to bring out. Yeah. Softer yeah. side. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But, Anna, I'm curious, would you give Jordan a second chance if he...? Absolutely not. No. No. <laughs> no way. It's just the way it happened, like... I don't always think that if someone cheats, you don't give them another chance. It's just the way it happened. It was the two way days. It. He did it in front of my face. Like, he didn't care about me at all, about my feelings, do you know? Sometimes when people cheat, they feel bad. Like, I feel like the way it happened, he didn't care. Mm. Were you, you just as angry at Curtis, though? Because it was I... Curtis that told him to go and tell. Yeah, mm. I wouldn't say I was just as angry as Curtis because was, I was like, a different level of angry at Jordan. Uh, yeah. But I was angry at Curtis as well because I mm. think that was really not nice. Like, well, it wasn't good advice, was no. it? Yeah. yeah. Well, what were the what were the feelings around sort of Curtis and Maura? Because there there seemed to be very mixed feelings about about their pairing. Not only obviously to do with Amy, but mm. even as the relationship went on. I mean, I don't know what to say. I think I feel like Maura really likes him because she she won't really fake anything. She's not the type. Yeah. But I mean, Curtis. Just don't know what he's mm. seeing him really. <laughs> you know, I don't really. Yeah. I don't, I don't, it's best I don't talk about Curtis. Mm. No. <laughs> I'm so so since, since you've been out, obviously you know you've you've got access to your phone now and all things that were sort of taken away from you. How has it been with the the response from the public? I, I okay. imagine that's been a bit mixed as well. So first, I can get into my phone because I forgot my passcode. Can you believe it? <laughs> I was running around the castle. Like, oh my god, I forgot my passcode. <laughs> Once I got in, and it's a lot of mix. So I get, I've got mostly, I think, seventy percent good feedback from yeah. like my time in the villa, and a lot of women have like been messaging me, and it's amazing. They're like, oh my god, I love how strong you are. I want to be more like you. Like, help me in this situation, and it's really, really nice. But of course, you get the trolls. I think no matter what. Mm. What were sort of things are they trolling? Oh you my for? god. Oh, fat shaming me. Oh. Yeah, which I actually was prepared for going in because I knew that that's an easy thing to say because obviously I'm Well, all... it's a stupid thing. <laughs> it is. It, is. it is. That shows how brainless they are. I think yeah. it's because compared to the other girls, I'm a bit bigger than them, so it's an easy, like, thing to say. Bigger than whom? The I other mean, girls, they're To all... me, you look completely oh, normal thank size. You. <laughs> what I want to ask you is, before you went into Love Island, you spent years studying to be a pharmacist yeah. and you got a master's degree. Yeah. And then you worked as a pharmacist mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Now you've done Love mm -hmm. Island. I wonder what your parents feel about, you know, all that time and effort you invested in your education. What, yeah. Is it going to be used? <laughs> so this is the thing. I feel like they got what they wanted because they wanted me to study and get my, do my education. So that I'm at age... I'm 29. Like, mm -hmm. they can't keep telling me what to do. But do, do you know they? What I mean? They do, yeah. yeah. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they're Iranian, they're, they are. They are strict. Yeah. So what, what do you think they're going to say about what you did in the villa? Oh, my God, the whole time I was there, I kept asking, like, oh, my God, I'm Were so Were you scared. worried about what your the mom was going to say? The whole time. The whole time. Yes. I've never held, a, like, a guy's hand in front of my mom and dad. I was like, going to say, that, yeah. in their society, yeah. where they come from, mm -hmm. you know, not, not 
where they come from, but the people they mix with of their age, yeah. your behaviour might have yeah. been seen as a bit forward. Mm -hmm. But luckily, my parents have become a bit more open-minded since coming yeah. in, coming here and living here. And they just, they feel, I feel like they are a lot more open-minded than the, a but lot of you. do you think the way that you behave yeah. is more British? Definitely. Oh, it's it different. is British, it's not like flirting. All that flirting. All that flirting, all that snogging. So you wouldn't go back, <laughs> you wouldn't go back to the way that your parents would like you I to I never be. was like that, and they kind of accepted it. And it's, it is a bit hard growing up in England with, you know, Middle yes. Eastern parents and trying to find the balance. Yes. Mm. But, but I think I found the right so balance. Good, though, that they've accepted and oh, it is yeah. a different culture. Oh, my God. I so when I get my next prescription, because I'm covered <laughs> in mosquito bites, oh. and I am basically scratching. Some steroid when, cream I, when I some hang, are you giving me yeah. advice yeah. now? Yeah. That's so good. I got free, Just free some steroid cream and you'll be fine. You won't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> 